So here we are at the end of the back attack uh, with Ryan Doris bowling Brook, Illinois Export Fitness. So it's a pretty good club, a lot of good equipment here. So if you're ever in town, check this club out. But I got a lot of good tips. If you guys watch the other videos, I mean, I've been working out for nearly 20 years, and I heard things from Ryan Doris. He's only 23 years old, and uh, I've never heard these things before. So thanks to Ryan, my back training is going to improve this year. And that's my priority for the offseason. But Ryan, let's talk about this. Uh, I thought the work, I thought the workout itself went great. So. Like to to the, work, the workout went good today. You know, for me it was a usual day. I like Mike had a, he got a good sweat in. Um, he got to see what a real hypertrophy day was all about. And it's not necessarily about throwing as much weight as you can. It's about getting the mind muscle connection and really trying different grips on your fingers and slowing down a you know form over ego. You know, as always, yeah. always have your form in to control your form. And, uh, and it was a really good day. You know, so I, I hope uh, everybody can learn a little bit from this video, from the videos we had today. Um, so, uh, what are you giving me? Thanks to anybody for speaking. Well, is there ever a time that you do each body part twice a week? Or maybe prioritize one? Yep, so, I, uh, so everything is hit twice a week. Everything, everything is. Everything, every, single week. every single part is hit twice a week. So, wow. uh, Mondays and Tuesdays, uh, the, the workload is not as intense. Uh, it's just a lot heavier. One, and a few auxiliary lifts to go with. But then I specialize Thursday through Saturday on these days for my lifts. So, everything gets hit twice a week. Right? So, it's not your typical heavy day and light day. No, not at all, not at all. So, much, so Monday is the classic powerlifting day. Everything gets powerlifting. Um, even arms go on the rep range of five, uh, five okay. and six. You know, so everything gets powerlifting. Tuesday, same thing. All those, all the, all the heavy squats videos you've ever seen me do those are Tuesdays. Yeah, it was heavy. Um, Wednesdays off, um, cardio, uh, and Thursday through Saturday, it's what a regular guy would do in here, except we finesse it. You know, you don't, you don't hit a back double by, and everything looks etched because you know you lift a lot of weights because you've decided I'm gonna pull these fingers and get that middle trap to pop a little more. Yeah. And like Arnold said, you really kind of slap the clay where you want to yeah. and really mold it over the course of uh, half a year. You know, doing. And watch the actual training videos to see what he's talking about grabbing with certain fingers because that was a big tip today and you can really feel a difference if you utilize the strategies and your own training techniques. Now one more thing, I know we did back today, but one big improvement that I've seen you make, I mean I've been watching for the last few years, your thighs. I mean, those aren't, I mean you had good legs before, but now you really do have tree trunks and you've got hamstrings <laughs> to go along with it from the back and from the side. You gotta let me know, man. I know I, I got the back training tips for free, but you gotta give me one more tip. What have you done for those thighs in the last uh, eight I'll, months? I'll, I'll say for everybody, uh, it's, best, it's best for you coming on the show. Start with the bar. Uh, Reevaluate your squat. Start with the bar. Get as deep as you can. I mean, hamstrings, touch your knees. Start and just get as deep as you can. Start with the bar. Um, I did it after the Midwest States to really develop my legs. And I got as low as I can. And I kept pounding out on that. And through, through time, I eventually got my strength back up. And you actually become stronger once you learn how to get all the way down to the ground. So that's the biggest problem. And squat deep. Especially being high school athletes, you learn how to squat parallel, which is good for Take power. Take over. I'm gonna grab my water. Yeah, which is good. Which is good for power, and, uh, and it's good. It's good for uh, for functional training coming from uh, that parallel position. But uh, there's no functional training necessarily in bodybuilding. You know, it's all about the look. It's all about how much can you stretch the muscle and like, make it grow as much as you can. So, okay, legs, Ryan. Deep on squats. Deep on squats. Glute ham raises is a big one I incorporated this year. Uh, Bringing the pain on hamstrings, on calves. Nothing special, man. Just going there every, every day. This next question, I hope you make Lane Norton proud. Okay, because I know exactly what he would say. I want to hear what you would say. Now, you see a lot of guys go to the gym and they think they're squatting, but they're more of like a quarter squat or a half squat. And they think it's parallel, and their minds is parallel, but we know they're far off, okay? Some guys, if they see us going below, I like going below parallel as well, okay? The best in the world do it, I figure that's what I should do too. I like to go below parallel, hamstrings to the calves, and uh, some people would actually say that's not safe for the knees. What do you have to tell people that think going too low is not safe for the knees? Well, uh, if, if your main concern is that it's not safe for the knees, then you probably shouldn't be squatting in the first place. Second off, um, with proper form, squatting deep enough, if your calves, your hamstring development is, is deep enough, it's actually, it's, it's developed enough, it's actually safer to go down that deep, because what it does is if we take a quick look right here, this actually forms a cushion for my knee. So I have all of this tissue forming a cushion here. It's more unsafe for me to be here and come down and put pressure on the knee as opposed to simply coming down, and that's a cushion right here. If you see where I'm coming at right here, 
this is the cushion right here. Mm -hmm. So what it happens here, my cap, my hands, I'm actually springing up from this cushion right here. So for, yeah. for, so for any guy who says that uh, it'll, it's damaging for your knees, or female for that matter, or female, put a pillow under your knees and that's how we squat. That's what it feels like to me. It's like it's like a cloud back there, you know, when I squat. So. Perfect. Okay, Lane, uh, he'll be proud of that one. Yeah, I mean, Really, your glutes and hamstrings actually get involved in the assist the movement to go that deep. So that's what I have to tell people. I've been squatting that deep for a long haul, and my knees are better than most 20 year olds. So, anyway, let's, uh, I gotta get a pre off post workout meal in man. So, uh, and I guess that was a good we'll wrap it up from there. But good training. We'll make it happen again at some point. Three weeks, May 14th. What's the name of that show? NANBF Central Midwest. Uh, Central Midwest. Yeah. Promoted by Ryan Irwin. It's an IFPA Pro Qualifier. Just the overall winner or class winners? Overall. I gotta get Just the overall. The whole thing. And he's got one overall already. So uh, let's see if he can pull off two in a row. That was then. This is now. So, yeah. Okay, so check out Ryan Doris, May 14th. I'll get back at you guys after that. Thanks for watching.